Hey guys, I'm going to cut open these Performance Gold and Performance Silver automotive oil filters from K&N so we can get a look at the quality of what's inside. And I'm also going to bring in some previous cut-ups I've done on top tier filters from Wix and Fram as well as a means of benchmarking. And FYI, all these filters go in the same vehicle so this is an apples to apples comparison. Before I cut them open, there are a few things I'd like to point out. First, both are advertised to come with pre-lubed base seals, hence the shrink wrapping. The silver is larger by external volume, heavier and cheaper than its gold counterpart. The gold, however, comes fully shrink-wrapped instead of partially, has a 1-inch welded nut with safety wire hole on the canister for easier removal, and most likely has a higher quality filter element in the inside. And with that, let's find out. So here they are. The two K&N filters are on the left, and next to that are a Wix XP and a Fram Ultra that I've had hanging around from some previous videos for comparison. So with that, let's start at the bottom and work up. Gaskets. Starting with the K&N Silver filter, we can see that its cross-section has a unique shape to it. If I pry it off the base plate, you can see that it's circular with a little lip coming off the ID to keep it captured in place. According to my calipers, the diameter of the circular cross section is about 165 thousandths. The gaskets on the other filters all have rectangular cross sections, however each has a different width. The K&N Gold is extra thick at 203 thousandths, the Wix is 120, and the Fram is in the middle at about 150. I suspect there are two reasons why the gasket on the K&N Gold is extra thick. One is because K&N advertises that this filter can handle higher oil pressures without bursting, and the second is because it's a lot easier to sock this filter down against the mount due to the 1 inch dot on the top of the can, and increased thickness would help keep it from getting crushed. The K&N and Wix gaskets are made from nitrile rubber, but unfortunately I could not find material info on the Fram. It's likely the same, but I'm not certain. Next I want to point out two things regarding the base plates, weight and flow area. I threw each of these onto a gram scale just to get an idea of how much material is in each one, the idea being that the heavier it is, the beefier it is, and the results weren't too surprising. The K&N Silver and the Wix were both about 130 grams, the Fram was only 114, and the K&N Gold was the heaviest at 143. To compare flow area, I did a quick calculation of the total open area of the circular hole pattern in each of the base plates where the oil flows through. The K&N Silver and the Wix have an area of about 0.35 square inches each, the Fram is only 0.23, and the K&N Gold is more than twice that at 0.53. K&N advertises that their filters are high flow, and these numbers certainly support that. But I have to think that the throughput of the filter element itself is a much more significant factor in this regard than is the open area of the base plates. In any case, it's good to know. Next are the anti-drain back valves. While each has a different design, they all do the same thing, so there's really not much to discuss other than material. All are made from silicone, although I have the feeling that they're not all made from the same grade. I say this because some look a little lighter or darker than the others, and some feel just a little bit more flexible. I realize that's not a very scientific observation, but it's something I noticed. So for the filter cartridges themselves, all feel solidly built with metal end caps on the top and bottom. The Wix and the Fram use filter media that's about 30 to 40 thousandths thick, plus a metal screen backing for support, and have 33 and 36 pleats respectively. In contrast, the media on the K&N Silver is only about 23 thousandths thick, and for the gold it's about 30, and neither have the screen backing. I was very surprised to see this at first, but this design trade-off is likely a means of increasing the filter area in order to make these filters high flow, which we know is K&N's goal. The K&N Silver has 66 pleats, while the gold has 54. As far as the dimensions go, the Fram is about 200 thousandths taller than the others, which are all more or less equal. The diameter measurements of each are shown. Note that I measured the ID and OD of the filter material itself, in short, the K&Ns have the largest outer diameters, with the silver being the largest. Since the silver is advertised as suitable for extended oil change intervals, and thus needs to have a higher capacity, this is not unexpected. We'll find more evidence of this when we look at the cans. The bypass valves are similar to the anti-drain back valves in that they all serve the same purpose but have very different designs. The K&N Silver looks extremely similar to the non-XP version of the Wix lineup, with a coil spring that is neatly captured by two sheet metal arms that extend from the top of the metal end cap. The seal itself looks to be made of some type of rubber that I expect seals very well. The k and Gold takes a much different approach that utilizes a plastic, likely nylon, poppet that is held in place by a coil spring from the backside. The Wix XP's valve looks similar to the k and Silver's, though the spring is captured by a stamped piece of sheet metal that is welded into place. The seal is not a soft rubber, but rather some type of hard plastic. Lastly, we have the Fram, which is my least favorite. It uses a nylon poppet approach like the K&N Gold, but I don't like that it isn't integrated into the upper end cap like the others. Rather, it is a separate piece entirely, which requires an additional seal. Moving up further, we have the springs. Each of these filters has a spring that presses against the far side of the can to hold the filter cartridge tight against the anti-drain back valve. 
Both K&Ns and the wicks use coil springs, while the Fram uses sheet metal arms. Fram's approach appears to work, though the arms don't feel like they have nearly the give that the coil springs do. And lastly we have the cans. The wall thickness of the K&Ns are both 20 thousandths, which is thicker than I've come across before. K&N's website specifically says that their filter walls are highly durable to lower the risk of damage and to handle higher oil pressures without bursting, and my measurements definitely confirm that. In contrast, the wicks and the frame only come in at 15. I can feel noticeable improvement in rigidity when I try to flex the K&N's over the others. It is worth noting the size differences as well. The K&N Silver and the Wicks both have an outer diameter of approximately 3.16 inches, while the K&N Gold and the Fram have ODs of about 3 inches. The K&N Gold's capacity is definitely the smallest because while its overall height is close to that of the Fram's, much of that height is due to the welded nut on the back. Overall, I'd say the K&N filters are very high quality, but are engineered for high flow and strength more so than a particularly high degree of filtration. The silver would be a good choice for its high capacity if you're looking for long service intervals, while the gold would be great for racing due to its high flow and extra features like the welded nut and safety wire attachment. If you guys like this video and want me to make more like it, please subscribe and tell me what filters you want me to review next in the comments. If you're interested to see some of the other filter videos I've already done, please check out the links to the right. Thanks guys.